Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to trim video in Shotcut. I'm going to show you few ways of doing that, so make sure to watch this episode till the end so you can learn all of them. And remember that this is just one of the videos of Shotcut tutorials, so make sure to watch all of them. And now uh, let's start. First of all, once you open Shotcut, you will see something like this. So over here we choose where we want to save our project, then we type in the project name. I'm just going to call it video zero. Then we have to choose video mode. So over here, if you know what size and what frame rate you would like your video to have, you can choose it or you can simply hit automatic. And once you select automatic, it will take the size and the frames per second from the first video that you're going to import to the project. So once it's set up, we hit start. And now before we move to the next part, two very important things. First of all, make sure you are on editing tab over here. Second of all, once you go to view, make sure that properties, recent and all the other fields over here are selected. So if it's all selected, we can move to the next step, which is importing the video to shortcut. In order to do that, make sure to choose playlist from the tabs over here. And once you do this, we have two ways of importing the video. First way of importing the video would be to hit open file and then find the file on our computer and hit open. The second way is way easier. All you need to do is to open folder where you have your video. So as you can see, I have some videos over here. So I'm just going to use this video over here. So all I need to do is to drag it onto the playlist. And once it's dragged, as you can see, it was already opened on the preview. It has 59 seconds. So now let's move to the next step, which is adding this video to timeline. Timeline is down here below. So make sure you choose timeline over here and then simply drag this video to your timeline. And as soon as you do this, it should be added as video one track, as you can see over here. Now, of course, we can zoom in or zoom out simply by dragging this uh, slider over here or using control and scroll on our mouse. So this will allow us to zoom in and zoom out on the timeline. So now once we added the video, we have few ways of trimming it. First of all, we could simply move our mouse to the end and then simply drag the video like I'm doing right now and I'm trimming it at the moment. Or the same way we can move our mouse to the beginning and when the cursor will change into those two arrows, we can simply drag it to trim it from the beginning or from the end. Then of course we have some uh, empty space over here so we will have to move our video to the left side. So right now we've trimmed our video by around five seconds in the beginning and at the end. And now I'm going to show you another way of trimming videos in Shotcut. The second way that I'm going to show you is way faster than the previous one because all we need to do is to click in the place where we want to trim and then press O. And as you can see, everything after the slider was cut out. And the same way, if we click over here and we want to delete this part before the slider, we can press I. So as you can see, it was already deleted. We can uh, slide it over. So if we want to cut whatever is after the slider, we press O on the keyboard. If we want to trim whatever is before the slider, we press I. As you can see over here, I press O, it was deleted, I press I, this one was deleted. So if I move my slider to the center and I press O, this will be deleted. If I press I, all this part will be deleted. So let me maybe delete the beginning part, I pressed I, as you can see, it was deleted. Now we can simply right click, hit remove, our video was moved to the beginning and we've trimmed around 40 seconds or 50 seconds of our original video. So once we trim all the parts out that we don't want in the video, we can move to the next step, which is exporting it. In order to do that, move your mouse over here to export. From the menu on the left side, choose H.264 main profile and hit export file. A pop-up window will open and then over here we can type the name of the new video and hit save. As soon as we do this, on the right side we will see that our video is being exported. It should take from few seconds to even few hours, it depends on the length of the video and the power of our computer. Once our video is exported, we can right click over here, 
show in folder and then we can simply check how our video looks like. So let's take a look and as you can see the video was cut from 59 seconds to 15 seconds and right now it looks like this. So and that's it for today, please let me know in the comments if you managed to trim your video and remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching!